Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul. So I bought a lot of books that I don't remember buying. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I bought almost all of these back in December because I knew that I was gonna embark on this journey in 2020 of buying fewer books. So I have some stuff to share with you guys and a lot of the stuff that I bought, I don't remember what it is, which I think is gonna be fun for both me and you. Like I think it's gonna be a good time discovering what I bought. I also have a few arcs in here that I was sent by publishers or PR agencies, which is gonna be super fun to share with you guys because I love sharing all of the good stuff I got. I hardly ever get arcs, so it's really nice when I get to share them with you. And then and a few books I got from Barnes & Noble. So without further ado, I'm gonna do a book haul. So the first book on the top of my stack is The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. I received this from Forever Publishing and this is the second book by this author. I've heard mixed things about the first book, but from all of the reviews that I read, they said they enjoyed the author's writing style and that it was overall a pleasant book, even if they didn't love some of the topics discussed or the way that certain topics were handled around um, infertility. But I don't think this book handles the same thing. It is about a woman named Sloan and she lost her fiance quite a few years ago. I think this is about her kind of rediscovering love and I don't know it seems kind of heartbreaking but it seems like the kind of story that I'm really in the mood for at the moment. I kind of want something like sappy and emotional so I think this is gonna be really fun. This book comes out on the 14th of April so I'm gonna be reading this in the next month. I might end up reading it during the backlist readathon. Ooh, I, mm, is that bad? This is not a backlist book but like I'm, I'm feeling contemporary. I don't have any other time to read this so like I might be reading this mid-March. We'll see. This next book. I'm stupid. As we have discovered uh, often times on this channel and I bought the third book in a series because I owned the first two and I was like you know what I'm gonna adore those books and I really I need the third one laying around. I told myself I wasn't gonna do that in 2019 and I, I still did it. It is Allied by Amy Tintera. It is the third book in this trilogy. I know little to nothing about the series. Well, from what I've heard it's kind of just your bog standard YA fantasy. I've heard nothing negative about the series. It's just sort of like generic YA fantasy. I think there's a girl she wants to be queen and some other shit happens. I, I feel like I should have more like knowledge of the books that I bought, but I bought these so long ago and I don't know why I bought them. So poor decisions were made. But anyway, now I have this book. The next two books are by the same author and they are Too Wild to Wed and Wild in Love by Eloisa James. Fun story here, not really a fun story. I had no idea that Avon Publishing or Avon Books put out hardcover editions of books that are usually published in mass market. I really thought the only way that I could enjoy my historical romances was in mass market format. And I, I don't love mass market as I'm sure a lot of you guys know or maybe you feel the same way I don't know they're fun they're pocket size like we get it but I like things that hold up and I like things that look really nice and aesthetic on my shelves I'm sorry I'm a bit of a snob and when I found out that I could get these in hardcover I was just like fuck yes I read I think the fourth or fifth book in this series absolutely adored it and it's one of those series where each of the books is about a different sibling in the family so I decided to pick up the rest of the books in the series because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love them too this is what the Avon hardcovers look like un unclothed unwrapped I just I like how the spines look and they all kind of look very uniform. All of the font choices and stuff are very uniform. So this one, again, it's gonna, it just looks so nice on my shelves. I already have the other two books in this series. And so now I'll have all four on my shelves. I think there's another one coming out this year, which I'm super hyped about. And in general, I like having the books that I like to reread time and time again in hardcover format. So I'm really excited to have these. These were definitely books that I remember purchasing and like, I think they're a wise decision. So excited to have these. This next book, I literally, I don't remember why I bought this. I think I was just perusing and I wanted free shipping and like, what you gonna do? It is Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance by Ruth Emmy Lang. Again, this is one that I know little to nothing about, but I think it's one of those books that sort of got that speculative element to it that I thought might be fun. I don't, you know, I don't know. The first paragraph of this synopsis says, Orphaned, raised by wolves, and the proud owner of a horned pig named Merlin, Waylon Gray knew he wasn't like other people. You know what? That's enough for me. I think I've seen other people read this. I think I looked up on Goodreads before purchasing it, which would be the wise thing to do, right? But this, this should be fun. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll probably get around to reading this later in the year. This seems like a good fall time, like atmospheric read. We'll see. I love the cover on this too. I do remove all of my dust jackets, but like, this is nice. This next book, again, I wanted free shipping, uh, but also I read really good reviews of this when I looked it up on Goodreads and it was a book that I'd never heard of before. I kind of want to do a video at some point where I read books that I literally know nothing about or have never heard anyone talk about before. And this is When My Heart Joins the Thousand by A.J. Steiger. And this seems like it's kind of sick lit, I guess. It's about like two sick kids, I believe, or like one sick kid and like making friends. I don't know. I occasionally like books like this. And again, I just wanted something 
that I didn't know much about. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video where I read books that you've maybe never heard about. Maybe maybe I'm missing out. Maybe this was published a long time ago and it was like a big thing back in the day and I just don't know. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that'd be kind of a fun idea to like read books that people literally never talk about. So the next book on my list is Invisible Ghosts by Robin Schneider. And she wrote The Beginning of Everything, which was a book that I really enjoyed back in the day or like a few years ago. I don't know how many years ago I read it. Maybe like 2016. But this one seems like it handles grief, which I think would be fun. I really like her writing style from what I can remember. It's very humorous. I remember laughing out loud multiple times uh, when I read The Beginning of Everything. So I thought I'd give this one a try. It was very inexpensive. And again, I know very little about this. I've never heard anyone talk about this on booktube. So this and this and like maybe some other like fantasy or something that no one talks about. Like I feel like that could make for a fun and interesting video. You guys let me know. Maybe I'm just stupid. It just seems like it'd be fun. The next two books that I have are by the same author and they're books that I know very little about because I have not read anything by this author before, but I want to be able to give you guys more romance recommendations, specifically historical romance recommendations, because it's just something that I've been into more lately. And it is The Day of the Duchess, which is Scandal and Scoundrel book three by Sarah McLean, and then Wicked and the Wallflower, which is part of the Bare Knuckle Bastards series, again, by Sarah McLean. I really like her covers. And again, these are published by Avon, so they have that beautiful, just like aesthetic, hardcover look to them. I'm assuming I'm really gonna like these. All of my friends have given these books like four or five stars, especially the books in the Bare Knuckle Bastard series. So I feel like these are gonna be fun and I'm excited to add them to my collection. For some reason, I thought this was the first book in this series, but I'm pretty sure I did look it up. I'm like, you can read it as a standalone and it got a good review. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. Sounds good. Let me know again, like what you would like to see from me. That's why I kind of like doing book hauls because I can show you guys what's on my shelves, like what I'm bringing in. And you guys let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. I would love to do maybe like an author spotlight on people that I've never read before so I think that would be kind of fun with these I don't know we'll see and then the last book that I got from book outlet is Miracle Creek by Angie Kim this is one that I heard Kayla from Books and La La talk about in her reading good reads thrillers video this one seemed interesting to me I like ones that are just not out of the box but like don't deal with the same generic white couple every fucking time like I'm just so bored of domestic thrillers at the moment this particular thriller is about a woman who is accused of killing her autistic son and it is sort of the drama that unfolds from there this seems really hard hitting and intense, but I'm really excited about it. I also have a video planned where I'm going to be reading this book, so I wanted to get my hands on it. Yeah, I'm just really excited to own this. Like, it's a beautiful cover, and I've heard great things. Nothing, nothing but good things, so excited to own this. The next two books I received from Leo PR. They are the people that do PR for Christina Lauren. So yes, I do actually have a Christina Lauren book in my hand as an ARC, which is so insane to me, so thank you so much to you guys for sending this to me. But I have The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. This one just sounds like something I'm absolutely gonna adore. It is a book about a couple who are like Chip and Joanna Gaines type people, like they're HGTV people, and they have a really tumultuous marriage and like they're pretty much on the brink of breaking up. So the assistance to the two people are meant to keep them together, make sure the show keeps going, and I think the two assistants fall in love maybe. So I'm excited to read this. It seems like a really interesting premise. I really like HGTV and like Fixer Upper type shows, so I feel like having that included in this is going to be really fun to read about, so I'm really really excited to read this. I think I'm going to do a vlog of some sort with some of the romances that I have received in ARC form recently. I think there's a lot coming out in March. So if you guys want to see like a March romance reading vlog or something like that, let me know again in the comments. I would love, I would love feedback. Like, let me know what you're feeling. So that's the first book that they sent me. And then later on in the month, I received a finished copy of The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. I've not read this one yet. I'm still kind of waiting to do a video on some of the romances that are coming out this year. Obviously this one's already out, so I can't really do like a pre-release vlog for that. But if you want to see me read this and this and maybe some of your most anticipated romances of the year let me know I have access to some of the releases by Berkeley that are like super super exciting there's one that I think is female female I'll flash a picture of it up here and maybe put the goodreads in the description down below but there's just a lot of good romance coming out that I would love to be able to talk to you guys about so like let me know what you're feeling as always in the comments like let me know if you want a video and then the last three books are books that I got from Barnes and Noble these are actually the only books that I have purchased in 2020 super proud of myself for doing that none of them I'm particularly like super jazzed about but you know impulse buys and all that so the first book that I have, I got on clearance for $6.98 and it is Final Girls by Riley Saker. I think this is the only Riley Saker book I haven't read. I've read The Last Time I Lied and I've read Lock Every Door, both of which I kind of enjoyed. I, I really enjoyed Lock Every Door, but excited to get to this one. I literally don't know anything about it, but it seems like maybe a horror thriller. I don't know. I'm excited to give this one a go. I've been on such a thriller kick lately. Expect a video soon on that. 
that, but that's an exciting purchase. This one, again, was sort of an impulse, but I'm actually excited to own it. I was thinking of maybe doing like a trilogy reading vlog for this series because I feel like I've heard so much about it, but like no one talks about it at the same time. I got The Hand on the Wall, which is a truly devious novel by Maureen Johnson. Like I said, I feel like I've heard people talk about these books or kind of talk about them in wrap-ups, but I just, I don't think people really talk about the plot or like really get in depth with them. So I feel like this might be fun to do like a series squared on where I like read an entire series in one reading vlog in one day usually. Uh, let me know if you want to see something like that with this series or with any series. I'm really just like begging you guys to tell me what content you want at this point, but uh, yes, I own this now. And then lastly, I bought this book again for a video. Shocking. It's going to be a really a real fun video and uh, I picked up Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. I have access to an arc of this and I just never read the book but I still have the arc obviously but I figured why not just own the physical copy because I own most of the books or the video that I'm doing. Anyway I'm not really you know I have not really been doing descriptions for this video I've, I've noticed but this one is about YA fantasy. This one is a YA fantasy set in fake France and people bone and that's pretty much all I know about this book but it seems like it's gonna be a hoot and a half so anyway I have a video coming later in the month featuring this book so stay tuned stay excited and that's it those are all of the books that i have obtained since december of 2019 <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this in some way again let me know down in the comments if you want to see any of these books and certain videos that i've mentioned that's it i love you guys so much thanks so much for watching and until next time